Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, so we got to talk about this whole DJ Bling and T.I. situation. Y'all were hitting me up while I was out in L.A. at the BET event. Like, you know, did you hear about this? What's going on out there? So BET weekend was definitely lit in L.A., and I'm really glad I got a chance to go and just meet with so many just wonderful people out there. So if you guys don't know, Floyd Mayweather's DJ, DJ Bling, all of a sudden, you know, nobody, nobody at all was asking for his input, but he took to social media to let y'all know that he just got jumped by T.I. and his damn homeboys, okay? So this is what DJ Bling had to say. Y'all go ahead and check this out. So DJ Bling took to his Instagram store and he says, T.I. jumped me, LOL. All y'all niggas hit like straight bitches. Then he says, six niggas and all y'all did was scratch me up. Niggas jumped the wrong one tonight. I'm on your bumper, bitch ass nigga, at Trouble Man 31. All right, y'all just saw his damn Instagram story, but that wasn't it, okay? So after this, people were like, bruh, like, even if you got jumped, why are you running to Instagram, you know, telling your side? Call the police and shut the fuck up. But we know he's not going to call the police because, you know, that's against street code, okay? So then he goes on to his Instagram story and he starts talking about Tiny and how he's so in love with Tiny and she's the first light-skinned girl he ever had a crush on. Honey, he was just pouring on the sauce, trying to piss T.I. off. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Y'all better put some respect on Tiny's name on my mama. On some everything. No cap, nigga. Tiny is, I, honestly, Tiny still look good to me, period. I don't care. It's tiny still a distance. Problem, I swear to God. So chill. So chill disrespecting Tiny. I can disrespect TI 50, but not Tiny. I ain't never seen I ain't never seen uh Tiny fucking nobody. Stop saying that. Tiny cool. I used to have a crush on Tiny when she was in that group. That was the first light-skinned girl I ever liked. No cap. Swear to God. Kick off your shoes and relax your feet. I never... I promise to God. <laughs> I used to see that light-skinned girl with that helicopter nigga in the video. And be like, oh, shit. There she go. So a part of this is because T.I. got my my crush. My first, my first light-skinned crush. <laughs> it was tiny. I swear to God, bro. I swear. <laughs> oh, I used to like Tiny so bad too. I, she used to be in a little group. They used to wear all black. My mom had the cassette tape. I remember. All right, so you guys just saw what DJ Bling had to say. So y'all are probably wondering, okay, well, what, what's all this beef and what does this have to do with Tiny and everything else? Well, if you guys do not remember, five years ago, yes, five years, I don't, I don't miss shit, honey. I've been here for a long damn time. Five years ago, during another awards show, um, you know, Tiny and T.I. were going through some issues in their relationship, you know, potentially breaking up. You know, once again, T.I. was fucking up. And so Tiny was, you know, hanging out with Floyd and Shekana, and she was going to Floyd Mayweather's parties. They were taking pictures together there was video of tiny dancing and all this other stuff right so Floyd Mayweather and T.I. they've kind of had beef since then okay I ain't got no real problem with you I ain't never said nothing about you but now I mean shit bro you stepping in here man talking about all this money you got all this shit man come on man and whoever that DJ is man talking about shit look this lady right here she knows she, she can be wherever she want to be if she want to be there she can be there that's what she want to be I ain't got no problems Ain't nothing going on. They say that I made that song because I'm mad because you was over there with dudes. Man, listen. <clears throat> if it was anything, bro, I don't give a fuck, bro. You know what I mean? If she went over there and had a good... Wait, we out here, man. I got it. 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 You can draw your bitch, motherfucker. Okay, baby. And so um, back then, there was a rumor spread that they had gotten to a fight over Tiny. And T.I. was telling everybody, you know what I'm saying, I heard they blacked my eyes, but where they at though? Y'all remember that damn viral video when he was like, where they at though? 
Where they at though? What they say I got two black eyes? Where they at though? These ones I'm looking at on, is they black? For real? Damn, been like that all my life. Fuck my hand up. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> where they at? Where they at? Where they at though? This shit makes a beautiful for this. Where they at though? Where they at though? All right, so you guys just saw that video. That video still cracks me up to this day. So since then, they've just always had this, you know, this underlying beef. And then as we all know, this year during the whole Gucci boycott, um, Floyd Mayweather was like, y'all's not gonna tell me what the fuck I can and can't wear. I'm gonna rock Gucci. I'm gonna do me. Fuck all y'all. You know, he was going in and out the Gucci store. And so T.I. called him out and he made a song called Fuck Boy, which was a diss towards Floyd Mayweather. And then Floyd Mayweather had, you know, his assistant or somebody, honey, they, they wrote a damn dissertation. You know, damn well, Floyd didn't write that shit. But the dissertation, you know what I'm saying? He kept it real. He, he made a lot of valid points. You know what I'm saying? We talked about it in the live stream. I had to give Floyd Mayweather his props. He made a lot of valid points about T.I. and, you know, this whole fake woke movement and everything else. Not saying that T.I. is fake woke or nothing like that. I'm just going out for what Floyd Mayweather was saying, right? So the beef kind of reignited this year during the whole Gucci boycott, okay? So I hope I've caught y'all up to speed. So now... Back to the BT Awards. So what they're saying is that T.I.'s entourage saw DJ Bling and they basically jumped him. And now there's video footage that's been leaked onto social media. But I don't know who the hell captured this damn footage. Capturing footage is capturing the damn fight. We want to know what happened before. This person captured the aftermath. What I'm assuming being that there was a lot of people out there, the fight was caught, but they're trying to sell it. And nobody has bought the fight video yet. Once it's bought, it'll probably be on TMZ or something like that. But you can't tell me that there's all this aftermath footage, but there's no footage of the fight. I don't believe that shit. Anyways, y'all go ahead and check out this aftermath. Check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. <laughs> They like bitches. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, no, fuck it. Bling. 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 Coming to get the number? You don't want the number? Yeah, I want my number. Yo. Should I make it a quick getaway? Alright, so you guys just saw the aftermath. Looked like somebody beat him out his damn tape. <laughs> oh my god, we need to do.
do better. Come on now. We need to do better as grown adults. T.I. is always talking about black empowerment. Black folks coming together. We can't be out here fighting and, and, and you know, squabbling over nonsense, over tiny. You know what I'm saying? Over whatever it is that they're beefing over. It's not that serious. Hopefully, like I always say, it just gets left in the street. We don't want to see nobody, you know what I'm saying, losing their lives behind foolishness. It's not that serious. Hopefully, cooler heads will prevail. Tiny, obviously, DJ Bling, he's in love with you, okay? He has a crush on you. And Floyd Mayweather, he has a lot of love for you as well. I think at this point in time, Tiny needs to get involved, okay? She needs to talk to Floyd's camp, tell them to calm down, you know, cool things off over there. And then she needs to talk to her damn husband. Come on, T.I., get your entourage. I can't be out here fighting and jumping folks and acting a fool. It's not a good look. Especially when you're talking about black empowerment and black folks, you know, doing more. We can't be out here showing out and fighting, you know, especially during BET. BET Awards already has a, you know, they get a bad rap for fights and all that stuff. We don't need that, especially amongst grown adults. So, you know, hopefully Tiny will be the one to bridge this gap and basically talk to both sides and get them to cool down. It is not that serious. You know what I'm saying? We need to move on, move forward, and do better. These are people who have money. DJ Bling has money. Tiny and T.I. are rich. Floyd Mayweather, you know, we know he's rich as hell, okay? So all these rich folks, y'all, you, you, find something else better to do, okay? Y'all ain't got to be out here ratchet, fighting, and jumping, folks, okay? Leave that for the broke folks who ain't got shit else to lose. But for y'all who got money and got things to lose, y'all can't be out here doing that, okay? Just, you just can't. So anyways, in other Floyd Mayweather news, I want to touch on this because a lot of y'all was asking my opinion on this. Now, as we all know... Daddy Floyd, he loves his babies, he loves his children. And, you know, I remember a few months ago he was talking to BET how much he wanted for his daughter, Yaya Mayweather. He wanted her to do good in life. He wanted to see her with a doctor, a lawyer, you know, a good man that can take care of her, who, who has money. Because, you know, daddy got money, so, you know, he needs, she needs to be someone who has money, who can take care of her, because she's spoiled, okay? I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this video, Floyd Mayweather, you know, with all his high hopes for his daughter. Y'all go ahead and check this out. I just told my daughter that... I I told my oldest daughter that this is what I want for you. I want you to get somebody that's ambitious. I want you to be with somebody. I want you to be with a doctor, a lawyer. I don't want you to settle for less. And I don't want, I don't want you to take care of no one. Because she's... She loves to spend money. <laughs> so she gotta get a rich man. Only <laughs> mail for whoever acting. Catch me swerving in my race with my daughter in a G wagon. This ain't no movie, honey, no acting. But if you hate us, act up. I just might let Ayana slap him. Hold up, mama. Slow up, mama. They know who my daddy is. They don't want no drama. Yeah, the jewels is real. The rocks is right. I get a band aid. For the rest of my life And I ain't spoiled I'm just blessed, baby Let's get it right I see their questions looking at me Like they see what they like Hold up, hold up, hold up Let me get back in it You get it from your mama, baby Don't you forget it You know I got your daddy still trying to get it He just called me last night If I'm just being specific If you find Floyd, what would you do? It, it, that's not the question, motherfucker If It don't matter if, motherfucker, I did Mom, what are you doing? You don't, you don't see that chandelier over there? <laughs> they said if I didn't find your daddy, what would I do yet? Mm. We're 19 years later. I don't know. I don't know what it did. Your breath smells like liquor. Like wine. I had some motherfucking wine. All right, so you guys just saw Floyd Mayweather's video where he's talking, you know, about Yaya and who he wants to see Yaya with. Well, unfortunately, rumor has it that Yaya Mayweather, she's allegedly knocked up by NBA Youngboy, okay? Now, everybody's favorite rapper from the boot, NBA young boy, he's always on some fuck shit. He's about 20 years old. I think if, if, she's, if she's really pregnant, this is literally going to be his fifth child by his fifth baby mama in less than two years. As we all know, Janaea just had a little boy with him not even maybe three months ago. She just had a baby. And there's another girl who was also pregnant. Like, he has a lot of damn kids for him to only be 20 years old. So the reason why people are suspecting that she's pregnant is because she took to her Instagram or Snapchat. Y'all know I can't tell these platforms apart, honey. I'm old. She took to something on social media and posted this picture. And in the picture, she writes, she's bored. I'm like, bored? I can't tell. Can't be too bored. You was fucking something because her stomach looked big as hell. She looks like she's about five months pregnant. Okay? Bored people don't look knocked up. So a lot of people are like, uh-uh, she's pregnant. And then we've been seeing her running around with NBA Youngboy's mama. 
who we all know, honey, she is a mess. She will cuss you out quick, fast, and in a damn hurry, okay? So she's been running around with the mama, sticking up her middle finger, you know what I'm saying? Just, just getting in real good with the family. So a lot of people are really shocked. They're saying, you know what, she could have done better. You know, you're Floyd Mayweather's daughter. You could have had a pick of the, you know, litter. Why would you get with somebody who has so many kids and all this drama? You know, the thing that's really disturbing is that we know NBA young boy has a short temper. And I used to hate the way he used to talk to Janae. Him and Janae would get into it. There was even a video that leaked a few years ago of him beating, you know, basically beat the hell out of Janae on her damn tank top. Just like DJ Bling got beat out his damn tank top, okay? So that went viral. That's why they had to kind of break up because charges were pressed on him behind that. It was a bunch of mess. A few months ago, uh, NBA Youngboy, he took to Instagram. He was going off. Supposedly, Yaya had sliced his tires. And he was cussing her out, calling her a trust fund baby, saying he got his money from the mud. He worked for his money. She ain't shit. He really went off in this video. So if she's pregnant by him, this kind of disturbs me because this is the same pattern that he took with Janaea. So y'all go ahead and check this out. Oh, motherfucking slime. Free deep dog, bitch. I got foreigns all in it. Your old inherited ass bitch. Yeah, everything I got, everything I got, I made on my own. Oh, pussy, hoe, you see that cat? Mm, bitch. Yeah, oh, fuck ass. I don't give a fuck, nigga. It's 4K Trey. We taking this way in. Don't come to my, hey, don't come to my funeral, bitch. I don't fuck with you. So when you look at me in my casket, remember, remember me. Think of me telling you, bitch, I don't fuck with you. Get your dog ass up out this church. I'm out here. I'm out here. Uh, uh, oh, all right. Oh, oh, bitch, all right. Yeah, now let's go pick my other car from the airport, bitch. I gotta be in eight. I gotta be back in Baton Rouge soon, ho. Yeah, yeah. You in danger, girl. You need to run, okay? You know, hopefully she was just bloated in the picture. You know, maybe she just had a big lunch. But I don't know. I've been pregnant twice. She looks pregnant to me, but who knows? But if she's pregnant by NBA young boy, I, I just I don't know about that one. You know what I'm saying? He makes good music now. Don't don't get me wrong. His music bangs. But you know, his his attitude, the way he treats women, I'm not feeling that. I'm never gonna co-sign that. You know, the way he was talking about her in that video was really disturbing because it reminds me of how he used to talk about Janaea and go off on Janaea really crazy as well. So I'm sure that Floyd Mayweather is not happy about this situation. But unfortunately, as parents, our kids are going to make mistakes. Our kids, you know, they're going to think they know everything. And sometimes you have to just, you know, fall back as a parent and let your child make their mistake. And hopefully they'll learn from it and you'll be there to, you know, help them out. At the end of the day, regardless if she's knocked up by this man or not, that baby will be good. That would be for Mayweather's grandchild. And that baby won't want for anything. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like the baby's going to be on EBT, WIC, and food stamps, okay? The baby will be fine and well taken care of if she is actually pregnant. But this entire situation, you know, is kind of disturbing. I can see, you know, why Flo would be very disappointed with her choice of a mate. But anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Floyd Mayweather's camp, um, DJ Bling basically said, and he was jumped by T.I.'s entourage. And we do see T.I. in the damn video, okay, in the background. And then how do you guys feel about, you know, these rumors being spread that Yaya Mayweather may be, you know, uh, NBA Young Boy's fifth day mama and that she's allegedly knocked up by him? Do you guys agree with that union? Do you feel like, no, you know, she shouldn't have went there. She should have listened to her father and got with a lawyer or doctor. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.